Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and went through the Myo'o Cup against the formidable Mamoru Hayase. And even though we lost to him, we did get second place, and pretty much everyone at the dorm was like, Hey, you did a pretty good job, except for Ken, who was talking about, like, coffee or whatever. Anyways, in this episode, more people have wandered into Tartarus, and we can actually go talk to social links again, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Maiko, are you... am I able to level you up? I can! Let me just make sure I have a hanged, a hanged man persona. And also we have some stuff to uh, give to Elizabeth. So we don't have a hanged man persona with us yet, so we're gonna go ahead and swing by the velvet room, deposit all of that stuff from the side quests, get that hanged man persona, and go hang out with Maiko. We haven't actually talked to her in a while. I forget how far we are with her social link. Let me check real quick. Rank five, okay, not too bad. Mysterious person's autograph, so that's Tanaka's. Tanaka's amazing commodities. Uh, must, have, must be that prominent figure's autograph. I must say, he's a very beautiful penmanship. He must be as powerful as the rumors say. This man who rambles along to a unique melody. Oh, I see that you've acquired a new bond in addition to the autograph. That is very good news indeed. Please take this as your reward. I was kind of going into Igus territory for a second. They're both sort of the same voice for me, except I try to make Elizabeth's a bit more lively, uh, whereas since Igus is a robot, she's a bit more deadpanned, um, which is what makes her line so great, is that uh, she delivers these hilarious things uh, in this very deadpan, monotone voice. Oh, very important. Number of personas registered in the compendium has increased significantly. Proof of all the hard work you've been putting in every day. This is truly wonderful news. Offer more of my help, I shall reduce the cost of summoning a persona from the compendium. Consider it a little gift. How may I assist you? Alrighty, so... Thanks for that, Elizabeth. Uh, we have to worry about cash even less now, so... Thank you very much for that. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's reduced by too much, but then again, we've only completed 26% of the compendium, so... I can't expect, like, massive decreases in numbers. Please choose the personas you would like to fuse. You know, the thing about Igor's voice is that I remember when I first heard his reload voice, I was like, oh, that's weird, that doesn't sound like Igor. But now that I'm... Now that I've kind of gotten used to it, I actually really like his Persona 3 Reload voice. The voice that I'll always he hear for him is his original Persona 3 and Persona 4 voice, but I don't think this new voice actor is bad at all. Alright, we got our Hanged Man Persona, or Thrust. Alright, we're now down to 40,000 yen. Um, I've spent most of my money, but that's fine, because now I don't think we'll have to worry about the next full moon operation. Maiko, I really want to see you. That's ominous. You came, Mom and Dad, they... Thank you. Um, I... I... I can't take it anymore! Mom and Dad just keep fighting! I begged them to stop fighting so much, but... They told me to leave them alone! <laughs> I made up my mind. I have to run away from home. Calm down. Okay. Sorry, I don't want to be a brat. But I made up my mind, and I'm gonna run away. I better start packing soon. Hey, what should I bring if I'm running away from home? I need lots of snacks, right? And my insurance card? That should be enough. Really? Wow! Running away is easier than I thought. Now, just gotta decide when to sneak out. Either way, I'm gonna give it a try. Don't worry, I'll be just fine, okay? I'm gonna miss playing with you, though. I love how Makoto immediately starts helping this girl with running away from home. I mean, 
this is a tough decision because I don't think living on the street or running away is a good thing for this child. But to be fair, for her, going back home isn't the best option either. Mom and Dad will have to work together to find me. <laughs> this is gonna be great. I gotta make sure I'm ready to go. Walked Micah home and returned to the dorm. Moral of the story is Maiko's parents are absolutely awful. Hi, how was your day? There will be a full moon on Thursday. I'm sure some kind of shadow will show up. It's coming up quickly, so please make sure you're fully prepared. Leader. There is something you should know regarding my persona. It seems my persona excels in endurance. Basic attacks will do little against me. In other words, I am a tough guy. <laughs> See, this is what I was talking about earlier. I forget if it was in the last episode or not. But I guess saying goofy things in the most monotone voice is just peak comedy. And they don't, like, overplay it. Um, at least in my opinion. Because th that definitely is a joke that they could have, like, run into the ground. Where it's like, every other line of dialogue for her is doing that joke. But I think they p pace it out pretty well. Last month's operation didn't go smoothly because the enemy behaved unexpectedly, so I'm doing some visualization training and exercise to ensure that th that doesn't happen again. I'll do my best to support everyone. When does a full moon operation ever go right? Because we've said, oh, that didn't go too smoothly after every single operation. Because the first one broke Akihiko's rib cage and destroyed parts of the dorm. The second one, a train almost crashed into another train. The third one was, I even made a joke about it, how it was like, how I absolutely destroyed those creatures, but they attacked Yukari and Mitsuru, and the chairman was like, oh, things didn't go so smoothly. And now this one, I mean, yeah, things didn't go great for that one, but but I feel like we don't need to specify that every single time, because, because all of them go poorly. Not bad. Junpei is in quite high spirits, huh? Maybe he just doesn't want to lose to Koromaru. Well, I certainly understand that feeling. I don't like the idea of some dog swooping in and hogging all our glory. That's especially funny because as I mentioned previously, Koromaru has always been, like, part of my final team when going up against the final boss of this game. So, in fact, he does swoop in and steal the spotlight for, from them. If you're heading to Tartarus, I'll join you. I want to go wild tonight. Oh, that's right. There's the... There's the people we've got to save from Tartarus. I want to hang out with Mitsuru or Junpei, but... I guess saving people's lives is more important. Plus, these are things I could do on pretty much any other day, whereas I only have three days left to actually uh, save these people. I've already gone through Tartarus in, uh, in episode 48, so we don't need to... So I won't make you sit through another Tartarus grinding episode. Uh, so I'll, once I get through this dialogue here, I'll speed things up real quick. Oh, uh, there's a cat in Tartarus. Between its jaws, it clenches a fragment that emits a curious blue light. Should your curiosity get the best of you, perhaps it'd be best to pay this guest a visit. Floor 72. Okay, thanks for telling me where to start, Elizabeth. Montage activate. trust you're not tired then let's be off I trust you're not tired I haven't done anything yet I've walked up two flights of stairs oh I forgot to mention in the last episode uh, we got a new outfit for Yukari but it's not a very good one. Uh, it's this. Which just makes me uncomfortable to look at because she's 16. So... So sorry, Yukari. Maybe next time we'll find you a cool looking uniform. For now, you're just going back to default. There's a cat that there's a cat that looks pretty nonchalant. Huh? There's a kitty in a place like this? 
Ugh, my voice was not in the right spot there. My, vo my voice was all weird and crackly. <clears throat> anyway, we need to protect it. Please come back to the entrance immediately. Yes. Understood. I'll wait for you at the entrance. Cat offered me something he was holding in its mouth. Maybe a thank you gift? It's a bit damp, but I think I could still use it. Three twilight fragments. Very nice. Welcome back. I was so relieved you were able to save that kitty. It can stay here for now. We'll send it off safely when the time comes. Still got one more person to save. Must be one of the people who went missing. Yes. Return to the entrance, and that is pretty much everything we needed to do in Tartarus, so let's head back. It always feels so weird whenever I finish something in Tartarus quickly, because usually I think of Tartarus and I think of going on for hours and stuff like that, so when I have barely anything to do there, it just feels kind of weird. Uh, Suyamitsu, you're the only one available. I mean, we have the old couple, but I can't up their thing yet, so... Suyamitsu, I'm going to you. Alright, we're at least almost halfway done with you, so... Wondering about my clothes, the reason I wear a school uniform is... It's hard to find something that'll fit. Anyways, wanna go for a bite, my poor stomach ache. My poor stomach has been crying for a while. I wonder if that's actually genuinely something that they wanted to be a part of his character, is that he can't find any other clothes that fit him, or it's just that the designers didn't want to draw more sprites of him. <laughs> Wonderful, my gourmet friend, our culinary adventure continues. Today we'll be going, going to Wakatsu. There's something for everyone on that menu. So for lunch I had a melon pan, then a katsu sandwich. Then an agave pond, a kane pond, a yakisoba pond, apple strudel, another agave pond. Mm. But I gotta have my rice, too. Mm. Mm. I... I think that might have been... too many carbs. Today, a girl in my class asked me, Who's that cute guy you went to Umiyushi with? She wanted me to introduce you to so you could eat lunch together without me. Girls always go for guys like you. Or my little brother. I guess looks really are everything. But once we're dead, we'll all just be bones. You can't tell a handsome skeleton from an ugly one. Uh, not again. Why do my memories make me so damn hungry? Hey, waiter, another tonkatsu special. While we wait for the food, let me share a little Senryu poem I wrote. He who cuts you is no friend, but he who cuts you, you flavor until the end. Huh? Oh. Oh! My... my stomach! Emergency! Whew. That was way too close. If that toilet was just a bit further away... Oh boy. Are you feeling sick? No, I'm fine. No worries. Everything's good and normal over here. Except for my weight, that is. Ah! The gourmet king shouldn't say things like that. I, I didn't mean to be so crass. I mean, who wants to talk about toilets while they're eating? Ah, I keep saying toilet! Sorry, sorry. I can tell Suemitsu's trying to be considerate of me. I feel like our relationship is stronger. Suemitsu's definitely one of those guys that are like, Ugh, nice guys always finish last, or something like that. You know the type I'm talking about. Okay, enough of that. Let's shovel that food down. We have to eat every chance we get. Because once we're dead, all we'll be eating is dust. You know, just like my little brother. <laughs> <laughs> after eating with Sue Mitsu, I went back to the dorm. Sup, dude? Day after tomorrow's the full moon, right? I'm already getting fired up. Let's kick some ass. Alright. I'll go ahead and... I might make this episode a bit longer than normal. Uh, just because I want to... Like, finish off on the day right before the full moon operation. It's honestly out as hell, but at least I'm one cool dude. 
Anyways, you know you can always count on me, right? Our enemies got nothing on me. By the way, I thought you'd like to know Koromaru's condition seems to be improving. Glad to hear it. Precisely. Yes, he may have a dimin diminutive figure, but he's a fighter. He would do well to learn from his example and stay vigilant in our own endeavors. That was pretty good. Training during this season is really exhausting. I'd like to wring a bit more range of movement out of my body, but maybe I should stop and rethink my pacing. Uh, maybe chill out for the summer. Don't be stupid. The shadows are getting tougher. No matter what we do, there's no time to rest. Yukari, did I finish your... I haven't been able to stop thinking about how that show ended last time, so I borrowed the next DVD. How about it, Yukikun? Let's do this. Alright then, let's get into it. This series always has such crazy plot twists. When the main girl's best friend betrayed her, I was like, what? Being backstabbed by the one person you trusted most is just horrible. What would you do if that happened to you? Uh... I'd never recover. Yeah, even without a dramatic betrayal, I'd be hurt if a friend started treating me differently. It happened to me once. A girl I was close to suddenly started avoiding me. Oh shit, it's starting! It's so fast-paced, we really need to pay attention. Aw, oh, no way! It's just gonna end like that? Ugh, it happens every time. But they're so good at leaving you hanging. I need to know how it ends. Let's watch more next time, okay? That's how I feel about, um... It's sorry, I've brought this series up like 50 times in the last few episodes, but in the Yakuza games, at the end of each chapter, there's always some crazy big plot twist or big reveal. <gasps> Holy shit, we maxed up charm! Nice! It's getting pretty late. We better head back to our rooms. But yeah, in the Yakuza games, there's always like some big reveal at the end of each chapter, um, or some big plot twist, or big cliffhanger. And I love them, because like, it always gets me pumped for the next, um, while also, you know, leaving off at a really good part. Uh, but it also sucks, because I'm like, oh, I want to know what happens next, but, you know, I've... At that point, I'd, I'd, I would have been playing for like, a few hours at that point, and I'm just like... Uh, I don't want to keep playing, but I want to continue the plot. <laughs> oh, Miyamoto. Uh... Sure... I forget if I could have leveled you up previously. But yeah, what the hell, let's hang out. I guess I kind of stand out like a sore thumb. Maybe I shouldn't have worn my tracksuit. I think I'll just... Eh, I'll just think of it as part of my mental training. This is actually kind of a weird thing to bring up, but I actually, uh, how do I put it? I crack under pressure. Like, I get really nervous and stuff. I've gotten a lot better lately, though. <laughs> the more I want to win, I can just feel myself tense up. It's part of who you are. Uh. But if you don't try to overcome your weakness, isn't that kind of like running away? You know how they say you gotta run away to fight another day? Yeah, that's not my style. Damn it. Ah, I'm sorry, Miyamoto. You're weird, because in order to progress progress your social link normally, I have to constantly look at all this terrible behavior that you're doing and be like, actually, man, you know, breaking your leg beyond, like, repair is totally normal, dude. Keep going. And then halfway through, I have to switch over and be like, actually, maybe you should take care of your body. They'd hurry up and tell me what's up with my knee, though. That's, the suspense is killing me. I'm feeling pretty good today, so maybe I'll jog a bit ba on my w way back home. Ugh, you're so frustrating. I hate you. <laughs> I don't hate him. But it's, he's just so stupid. Painfully so. That's one thing that I do dislike in characters, is when they're painfully stupid. A lot of people see, like, really stupid characters and think they're endearing because they're just so wacky and zany and goofy. I just find it very painful to sit through. I hope that doesn't make me sound like I'm trying to act superior to everyone. Obviously, like, sometimes characters need to be 
a bit idiotic for plot to progress. But like quite often, especially in um, the Persona games, I'll see a character make a decision that like I could never ever imagine myself making. Because like, at least to me, you think about it for like half a second, you're like, oh, my leg hurts, I should stop walking on it so much. And I know he has a reason, he has a tragic backstory or, or whatever, but still, come on, dude. And you might be like, oh, well, he's a teenage boy, he's reckless. I'm also a teenage boy. And so I feel like it's not entirely unrealistic for me to put, think about how I'd react in a situation and compare that to how these characters react in a situation. Uh, but anyways, yep, we're ready for the full moon. Good, me too. Aside from being ready mentally, we have to be get physically prepared too. We'll be on standby in the dorms tomorrow, so let's get everything that we need tonight. Alright then, let's do our best like always. But that's going to be about it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and in the next episode, we are going to tackle that full moon mission. We are pretty... We're pretty well leveled. I mean, we're in our early 30s at the moment. And also, we've got all of the best gear from... I forget his name already. Kurosawa. We've got all the best gear from him, so... Next episode, we're gonna take that shadow down. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!